Hey everyone. Last Sunday I had the privilege of having my layout open as part of the NMRA Midwest Region Convention that was held in a city nearby. So um, while I had everything cleaned up and since most of you don't live anywhere near here I thought I'd give you a chance to enjoy the tour too. So, so here we go as we're heading down the stairs. First thing you'll see is this nice casting of the Hiawatha emblem that was used on the Milwaukee Road Hiawatha trains. As you head on down, first thing you do is come into this room where you see my old layout. Call it the old layout because it's been around for about 15 years. I haven't done much work on it in about 8 years because I've been planning and starting to build my new layout. So the name of this layout is the Dunbar and Wasaki Railroad. It's a Croto Freelance layout in the aspect that uh, it's, it's named after a prototypical railroad which actually went out of existence in 1924 and it's based on the line from Green Bay, Wisconsin to Channing, Michigan. The city names are correct and they're in the correct order but everything else on the layout has been freelance so that's why it's a proto-freelance layout. Uh, this big 5x10 table was, my, was the first part of the layout that I built. Uh, for a while it was just a freestanding layout all by itself. Eventually I wanted to add some yards so I added these portions and then a friend of mine gave me some modules which are over there and I decided to add those on and expand the layout. We'll get back to that in a little bit. So this yard is actually two yards. It's a point-to-point -point layout with five tracks on this side and five tracks on that side that aren't actually connected at all. You have to go around the entire layout to get from one yard to the other so that's pretty much how the operations are based. So these five tracks here are considered Green Bay. You would depart Green Bay, head into Coleman, work your way around the layout over there, to Wasaki, eventually Pembine, and then the layout used to end in the back corner and we'll take a walk over there in a minute and it would come back along the wall and end up back here at Channing. Let's give you a quick look. Uh, there's a flour mill here in Coleman and a little uh, furniture factory provides some switching opportunities. And as you come around you end up coming into Wasaki where we have a an old mill and then a newer grain elevator. Sees a lot of switching action from the cars here. There's just some buildings I accumulated from swap meets and wherever. A few of those I built but not too many of them. As you head over here, these two six-foot modules were given to me by a friend, like I said, and I started to expand the layout. And eventually I just put this temporary turnaround loop on here for uh, getting back to the layout while I planned to expand it. And While I was working on those plans to expand it, I decided to ditch the whole thing and create a brand new layout. And we'll see the start of that in a little bit. Up here on the wall is a little sign that explains what the layout's about. And over here for the layout tour, I uh, had some YouTube videos playing of uh, Montana Rail Links Mullen Pass because that's the new layout that I'm building. Over here, I've got a picture of a curved trestle that's going to sit in this location when the new layout is built. Right over here is a little workbench where I build models and work on locomotives. Before we head in the other room, I'll take you over here. Can, uh, since we're on the layout tour, you can sign the guest book. Get a free copy of the layout plans for my new layout. And a little business card with my Facebook and um, YouTube channels on there. 
And there's a book from the Lakeshore Limited. That was the NMRA meet that was on Sunday. So now let's uh, head into the new into the room and look at the new layout. Many of you have probably seen this on a lot of my videos if you've been a subscriber, but this used to be my workshop, which I've now turned into the start of my new layout. I'll get you dizzy and we'll go in a circle real quick. But, uh, over here on this wall I've got the, the plans on a C-size paper mounted for uh, easy viewing. I also refer to those as I'm building the layout. Uh, the whole premise of the layout is uh, a 20 mile stretch of the Mullen Pass leaving Helena, Montana and heading up a 2.2 percent grade up the Mullen Pass and once you get over the mountaintop that is a city called or old town used to be called Blossburg that's still there and that's about where my layout will end so what you see down here is the lower level that's the Helena Montana yard we got mock-up of the bridges the I-15 overpass that'll be there there's some uh, yard buildings, the sanding tower. There's the two sets of helpers that are used to help the trains get up and over the pass. That's what this whole layout is about. Helper service for big long trains going up and over the pass. Right here you see a BN coal train that just rolled into town and it'll be uh, getting helpers added on shortly and head on up over the pass. There's a, my second version of the mock-up for the Helena Depot. If you notice it's a little different than the one I had there before. There's Beatty Park with the steam locomotive on display. North Roberts Road. There's a little gonna be a loading ramp right there and a couple buildings along there. And once you turn the corner, right now I've got this temporary 4% grade. Oh, before we do that, let's go back here. A friend of mine just painted the nice blue stripes on here for me. It's my little MRL business train led by F45 number 390. This temporary 4% grade connects the old layout with the new one. Allows me to have operating sessions that involve both the old layout in the other room and the new one here. So up above here you'll see the staging deck. This is all going to be staging, not an active switching yard. It's going to be all trains that are going to run on the layout. From this staging yard, all the trains will go into the helix and they'll either come up the helix on to the third level, which will be the top of the pass, and then head down. Either that or they can go down the helix and come into Helena to make a run up the layout. So they basically come out of staging and use the helix to enter the layout either at the top of the mountain or the bottom of the mountain. And the rest of it from there is just one big run out into the other room and back. There's uh, the yard throat for staging, which I've been installing servos to control the turnouts. And over here on the wall, we've got a nice little sign that uh, for the convention, there was actually um, five of the layouts on the tour were... Um, from a group that I belong to. We call ourselves the Boomers. We're just a round robin group. So we each hung up a sign like this so guys would see them as they did the layout tours and say, hey, what's with these Boomers? <laughs> There's another little picture I made to kind of describing my Mullen Pass layout. This is uh, 
about where the third level will be over staging. It's just a little mock-up at this time to trying to get a feel for how deep I want it to be. I don't want to totally cover up the staging at, on this portion of the way out. Once you turn the corner, if you saw this before, but there's another mock-up. This is actually Blossberg. That's at the the summit. So that's going to be the highest point of the layout. So just to review real quick, you'll without this this will be gone. You'll go out into the other room and be climbing all the way and eventually end up back here. And after you hit the summit, you'll start to slowly head back downhill till you get to the helix and go back into staging. Like I said, the whole idea is I want to run, you know, 60 to 120 car trains with a lot of helpers. There's not going to be much switching on this layout at all. I just like running big, long trains. If I want to do switching, all my friends in the boomers group have good good switching layouts that I can go take advantage of when we have operating sessions there. So, you know, real quick, here's the... Here's the lower level. We're in this room right now. Everything you see is basically from here to here. And everything in the other room is where my old layout is. That's the old layout's going to come out this fall and I'll I'll be building all that. So There's the staging deck. You know, I have it built out to about here. Still need to go out there put the return loop in when I do the other room. And there's the upper level. And at this point right here, the lower level transitions into the upper level and then heads back over the top of itself. That's pretty much it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the tour. And if you have any questions, you know, feel free to post them up there. Till then, take care. See you next time. Mm -hmm.